<laughs> Hand over your wares, ye little... Oh, shiver me timbers. It's the Royal Navy. Oh, shit. Ahoy there, me fellow Tarhans. It be me, Captain Beans. And... <coughs> I cannot speak like this the entire video, so I might as well just stop. And today, instead of showing you just one ship design, I'm actually going to show you three different ship designs. And if you can guess from the title and the thumbnail, these three ship designs are meant for piracy. And so, the first ship design that a pirate might be very happy to use is right here, the Sloop MK1. And as you can see, just like a sloop in real life, this is quite a small vessel. But you can see all of these thrusters right here, which make it quite fast, as you can see by the stats right here. And in terms of armament, this thing only has four R5 Zenith missiles, which is not much, but this is enough to take out a small group of sh ships, which are also small in size. And so having a couple of these could be very good for either intercepting cargo convoys or to even take out a small garrison. Yar, hand over ye cargo, or I shall take it by force. Nay? Well then die then. And this ship is relatively inexpensive as well, so it, that's very nice. The next ship that you can use for the very nice piracy is a little bit similar to the sloop. As you can see here, all of these thrusters right here and all of these zenith missiles right here. This is just a slightly bigger version of the sloop, which I call the brig. This is Brig MK1, and its main armament is the R5 Zenith missiles, just like the sloop. But this design right here is a little bit more expensive, but it is just a little bit faster, and its speed is around 838 kilometers per hour, which is close to the speed of a cruise missile. And so, with this ship right here, it is almost a guaranteed silent strike on a garrison. And based on my tests, this also works very well to capture co cargo convoys as well. And you can see all of these thruster thrusters right here. Those are made for this ship to be very fast on the tactical map, but also very maneuverable in combat, which any pirate vessel has to be. I've also made a second version of the Brig, which is this right here, Brig MK2. And the difference between the other one and this one is that this one has a gun on it, a 100mm gun, which is not much, but once this thing runs out of Zenith missiles, it still has a way of either defending itself or finishing the enemy using 100mm ammunition. This ship is only slightly slower, but otherwise this thing is just about the same as the Brig MK1, except this one just has a gun on it and slightly less R5 Zenith missiles. Hey, oh ho ho, you little scurvy dogs. I'll die.
the third ship which you can use for illegal borrowing of cargo is right here, the Galeon MK1. The Galeon, as you can see here, it's not really meant to be a very fast ship. It is more meant to be a armored tanker flagship. As you can see here, it has a pretty big tank, which uh, can be used for fuel supply. It has some sensors, including some ELINT, thermal sensor, radar, and also fire control radar down here below. And this thing is somewhat armed and armored. You can see the armor layers, which covers almost everything. The only real weaknesses are the radar towers and the stationary thrusters, but those are very little weaknesses. And in terms of armament, this thing has a couple of 130mm cannons on each side, and also a couple of 37mm machine guns, which can be used to defend against R5 Zenith missiles in close combat. Or, if we're talking about cruise missiles, this thing also has a couple of R9 Sprint missiles, which this thing can use to defend against cruise missiles or enemy planes. Now die, you privateering scallywag! Uh-oh. Oh, jolly Rogers, it be the Royal Navy. You will never take me alive. Ah. Now, of course, these three ship designs, the Sloop, the Brig, and the Galeon, the pirate fleet is not limited to just those three. If you want to make your pirate fleet a little bit more better, you could throw in a couple of my other ship designs, such as the Fast Fatty or the Fast Tanker design, which you can pair with a Sloop or a Brig to increase its range. A scout tanker aircraft carrier vessel to do some aerial reconnaissance using aircraft and also detecting potential Royal Navy ships using the Elint system. And maybe also a hunter, a nuclear missile carrier ship for when you need to take care of the Royal Navy. And that is going to be it for this one. If you want to check out my ship designs in your own game, or if you want to change them or edit them, the files for them will be in a Google Drive, which I will send a link to the description. So definitely have fun with those, and thank you very much for watching. Happy building!